Hi fellow web flowers. This is the first video of this multi-part tutorial um, where I'm going to walk you through the Figma file and show you a little bit my creative process before we jump uh, into Webflow and uh, develop this site. So without further ado, let's start. So yeah, here you can see the Figma file and you can see that's that's the result of the design. It was a pretty plain. Um, Usually I always design a desktop and mobile version, but in this case, because I designed it and um, I did the reviews and I did the development, um, I didn't do a, a mobile design because I thought, let's see how I can uh, manage the, the mobile view without a design. And I think I made it. So it's for me. It's personally, it's okay to uh, work without a mobile design um, if I have to decide how it looks on mobile. <laughs> of course, um, yeah. You can see um, that's the kind of uh, wow hero I made for this um, project. And then it comes this section. I call it the villain, uh, just because of the copy. And um, then we have sort of three cards here. We have a testimonial slider, um, another big headline, and then it, it comes kind of this uh, a process and um, some more arguments why you should choose a milestone and um, some FAQs and the footer. And here on the left, uh, you can see the uh, navigation, the collapsed uh, navigation and the font styles the headline styles and uh, body copy and uh, the colors I've used as well as the um, favicon and the, yeah, what's, the, what's that other icon? Is it for, if you want to have it like an app on the, on the, on your mobile phone? <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, but if you work with Webflow, you, you know that one. And yeah, let's jump into my uh, inspirations. So, um, before I started to design this website, I um, gathered a lot of looks and um, colors and illustrations or animation styles I liked. And um, I found this website, uh, Mr. Pops. I like it very much. And if you have a close look at it, uh, you can see that there's actually um, a lot of similarities um, with, the, with the hero and uh, this section here. But anyway, I choose to um, give it my own style with different colors, uh, different image style, different illustration style, and uh, different fonts, of course. Um, but this was kind of, let's say, my lead inspiration um, for this project. Then I really liked uh, this website, Gsoft. I like the kind of... Um, uh, simple illustrations they have here. They, they're like uh, doodle illustrations. Um, I really enjoy them. And then I had this one. I also liked it with these uh, little icons uh, between the um, very bold and uh, big headlines. And I also like the, the anim animations. So if you go to um, veltio.com, I think it is, uh, you can have a look at the illustrations. They're also nice. So, um, and you can see, for example, this section here with this headline and then it comes an icon here and another icon there. Um, I made kind of the same here, as you can see, but I gave it my own touch. And yeah, then here I made some research for, research for uh, different colors. I liked this uh, green colors, but um, I mit made some first uh, tries with that and it didn't work out. Um, then I tried uh, this color scheme with this um, violet, with this light green. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty modern at the moment. You can see color schemes like this uh, uh, currently everywhere. But I wanted to try something nice, but a little bit different. Um, yeah, I also like this one. I like the illustrations here. Personally, um, I like a little bit uh, playful illustrations like that. Um, I like the combination of this flat colors and this this uh, green that really comes out here. And um, yeah, I like that one. And I also found 
like uh, this colors this i don't know there was some kind of shot on behance and um they've used this color palette and i said that's it i love the colors here it's really great and uh, so i decided to go with these colors and i also made some research for some illustrations mm, i found this one somewhere on dribble um, sorry i can't uh, give kudos uh, to the creators, I can't remember where I found it. I like this very much, and uh, also this style. I like the skin colors they used, pretty colorful. And I thought it could work out um, with these colors uh, together. And yeah, then I went into brand design or logo design. It's not a brand design. And you can see here, at, at first, I uh, thought I can call it cash flow. And um, I actually liked it because I like the, the F and the L here, the combination of it. And I gave it a different A uh, just to um, make the logo font a little bit different. And I also liked um, this little icon here. But maybe it reminds a little bit too much on Pac-Man. Um, but actually, I liked the idea of uh, that you have milestones in a web design project and Pac-Man comes and eats all these milestones and you get paid on each milestone. So actually, that was a great idea, but I didn't want uh, to get into uh, trouble because I was using their trademark or something like that. So um, I decided to take something close. Uh, so I just took a half moon. Why not? And I called it milestone um, because it's a... yeah. Cash flow. It sounded a little bit strange in the headlines um, I was writing. I also did a little bit copy for that project, but not too much. But it um, it sounded it sounded confusing because sometimes you were using the word cash flow in the context of cash flow, and sometimes you were you I was using the the word in in the context of the brand name, and it was I don't know. It sounded strange. It was too close uh, to. Um, to the product idea, actually. So I called it Milestone, and I think that's also nice. I also took this moon, and let's go here. I took this moon, and also you can see I've used it here in the um, in the logo, but I've also used it in the in the buttons and um, on the live side. You can see that um, I used uh, an effect on that. So when you hover this grows, and you get a full uh, button and yeah then I wanted to have some nice dashboard illustration here that uh, really um, makes you want to scroll more on the site and uh, discover the content and um, I made some illustrations here that are just um, moving in some kind of marquee style over the site I found some nice uh, images on, um, I think they come from Unsplash. And yeah, I thought about <laughs> uh, using Steve Jobs here as a, a creative and uh, an, an alien for <laughs> all other kind of uh, creatives. And uh, yeah, uh, this happy girl here, uh, she's my freelancer. Uh, she's doing freelance work on her laptop. So um, I made this illustration here as well as this guy, he's the developer sitting in front of his uh, screen developing all day. And so I also made this little fly. And my idea was that it uh, will just walk around um, on the screen and from time to time it will uh, bang against this uh, bulb. <laughs> uh, you will see that in the um, uh, Lottie animation. So all illustrations here, they got um, animated uh, with Lottie. And yeah, this is... The agency, uh, that guy or girl, actually don't know, doesn't matter, uh, who is playing uh, this uh, all kind of instruments uh, at once. That's uh, that's what I think an agency is. <laughs> they play a lot of instruments at once. And yeah, just some pretty basic uh, testimonial section here. But mm, I, th I thought I want to make a little bit nicer with this um, um, moon inside. Just got some images here, again from Unsplash or Pexels. Um, deleted the background and gave it some, some color. And then comes the next section. It's easy as cake, just like shake hands because you're signing a contract and easy as cake. So I just illustrated a cake here. 
And um, yeah, that's kind of the three-step process. Um, yeah, you have to update your contracts. I mean, this looks like a contract um, and you need to sign it. And this, this hands, they will scream hooray once it signs in the lottie. And yeah, uh, the next step is that you send the project contract and uh, we have this uh, paper plane that gets thrown and while it's flying, um, other clouds are passing by. And uh, yeah, the third step is that you are successful and get paid. And that's why you see these hands here um, counting the bills. And here's just another section with uh, some more uh, reasons why you should choose that product. And I thought, let's make that moon sticky. And while the user scrolls, um, the, it will actually be um, a full moon that turns uh, to this moon while scrolling. Yeah, exact. And yeah, here we have some pretty basic um, FAQ section. And then another fixed or a fixed footer. Um, of course, you can see that it's fixed here, but um, it's fixed on the on the result. And yeah, that's the design I made for this project. And afterwards, I went to Webflow and um, built it with Webflow. Uh, based on ADX Flow, by the way, ADX Flow is our uh, utility uh, framework to uh, build truly custom Webflow designs, and um, that's exactly that's exactly what it's made for. That's a um, custom design, and we made it with ADX Flow. Uh, you will also find a, a link to ADX Flow in uh, the description of this video, and um, yeah look out uh, or subscribe to the channel to not miss the uh, next video. In the next video, we will jump into Webflow and uh, we will start with the navigation. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.